Welcome to the K1 World Grand Prix 2022 Japan. This is the K1 Bantamweight World Championship Tournament here at the Indian Arena Osaka. I'm Russell Goodall. And I'm Nicholas Pettis. This is the quarterfinal of the K1 Bantamweight World Championship uh, from Japan. In the red corner is Ishii Issei. And in the blue corner from Ecuador is Oscar Borges. Well, he's got Bushido written on his, on his <laughs> chest there as a tattoo. <laughs> and he's the one from uh, Oscar. I think there's a statement there being made by uh, Borges. Wow. Ishii coming in. This is the second actually K1 fight. He is from a Muay Thai background with already with eight belts and various... He's got a fantastic fight record. You know, 38 wins with 20 yeah. knockouts and 12 wow. defeats, two okay. draws. So he comes in with a, with a, with a big package of mm. uh, experience, that's for sure. And then again, up against Oscar, who has yet to lose. He has no yeah. loss yet. No, no, no losers. Eight right. wins in kickboxing with five knockouts. He also fights MMA. It's so good to see how K1 is bringing in fighters from all over the world oh, yeah. again. Oh, yeah. Like, so much more exciting. Mm. It really makes the, uh, the World Tournament Championships uh, World Tournament status. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, a nice weird. low kick there. And they're really spending a lot of time sussing each other out here in the first round. Mm. Ooh. Because there must be a certain way of, of discipline in terms of uh, training and fighting and that's unique to Japan versus people from outside of Japan. So I guess it's got exposure for the Japanese fighters, do you think, Nick? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's like watching the World Cup, basically. Mm. Now, each country has their unique styles and, and ways of training. And yeah. depending on who you're sparring with, of course, it's going to be a different outcome. Mm. Um, clearly, all the Japanese fighters all feel very comfortable because it's, uh, you know, they're fighting in Japan. In Japan, yeah. yeah. Oh, that was just... Good nice, calf kick yeah. right there. Oh, great Falling combo. up with some punches, yeah. Wait, he's really warming up now. Nice. Oh! Hey. <laughs> okay, the audience like that one too. Oh yeah, he knows, he knows it too, Yishi. That he connected with a great punch. <laughs> what do you call the exchange there? I think Oscar must have done some kind of karate style because he likes the spinning back kicks and stuff. Mm, mm. Oh, oh, that was a big the headbutt there. I hope he didn't get to it. Accidental uh, headbutts can be mm. quite painful. Yeah, I would for sure. Uh, yeah, headbutts as well too. No, what? no, no, there's no okay. No, there's no blood. Yeah, it was good. just okay. But good call of taking a step away and just like making sure he doesn't got. He yeah. Got hurt. Oh, Is it more of a concussion that they're worried about, or cuts? Like uh, a, I think a, he's worried about the cut. Yeah. I mean, there's an initial sting that hurts a little bit, but mm. then you're like, okay, am I cut or not? Because you can't tell. Right, right. Meanwhile, is she? Taking Borges to the corner. Yeah, he's really controlling the fight well. Um, it looks like Oscar is like kind of on the back burner here, mm. in slight survivor mode kind of looking. Uh huh. He's not really controlling the fight, in my opinion. Is that backspin you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah, and it's like almost as if he's like hoping that something big is going to happen with it. But mm. these are the punches that's going to get right. the knockout. Right. Yeah. Well, almost to the end of. Nice. Round one coming up. Yeah, I went straight for the body there. That was a great first round for Ishii. Interesting. Um, is Ishii there? They were real slow in the first minute, but after yeah. that, he really took control of the fight. And Borokes, he still wants to kind of... So that was round one, obviously, but, you know, uh, plenty of do stuff to do there. And... It looks like Ishii did really uh, bring the game to Borges. Mm. What, what does Borges have to do if he wants to, to turn that around? I think, uh, well, see, he's got great punches, right? Mm. There also. Yeah. He got clipped there a little bit, but he's close enough to himself also where he's almost eating Ishii, oh, right? Right, okay. I think he should try and maybe, like, do more of this. Yeah. And then a little bit less of, like, the spinning back kicks and stuff. 
Like, because the side kicks and the spinning back kicks, they're not gonna do anything. Ishii's too experienced to pull something like that. Second out! Second out! Hmm. Yeah, exactly. With exactly the same uh, height, Ishii and Boruke's. Yeah, but Ishii we'll see. seems to be like physically stronger. Yeah, and, and confident. And more accurate also with his punches. Oh, see, that was good. A lot more fights and wins too, but we'll see. Nice. If Borges does something different with his gameplay. Oh, yeah, look at that. Too. Nice. Yeah, I, I see what you mean. It wasn't quite working. He, he wants those to connect. That one too. Mm. Yeah, it's just like desperation mode mm, here. Like, yeah. kind of stay away from me yeah. is what he's kind of saying, you know? Right. I think he should like try and close the distance and just really like hit it out. Yeah. But then again, Ishii's got heavy hands, so it's it's a real big gamble. But look what's happening here. Yeah, right up. He's getting him up against right the, the corner, the really putting pressure on him. When he gets a chance to unleash, he will. Oh, good. Three. There you go. Actually, this is this might be working in his favor because he doesn't have to chase Ishii down. Ooh, another calf kick. Although Ishii is putting a lot of pressure on him, it's, yeah. it's, he's not really taking advantage of it. You see? He should be punching now, for sure. Not letting uh, Oscar uh, be the first one to initiate stuff. Like this, this mm. is great. Nice. Great combination right there. Yeah. I like the way he goes to the body too. Again, yeah, Ishii's so good. Oh yeah, this is just a right question to the time. Corner, yeah. okay. Completely okay. under Ishii's control here. He's got him exactly where he wants him. He's gonna have to fight a lot harder if he wants to win this one. Question there with the holding on Borges. Oh, yeah, 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 that's it, yeah. Okay, so we're down there by Ishii. Borges is going to. I just said it's only a question of time. I said this is going to happen. We'll see if he can hold up the bushy door like his tattoo says on his chest. Let's see. 30 seconds left in round two. Oi, oi, oi. Oi. You see, looks like he's maybe coming in for the last. Yeah, he's Hill. definitely trying to finish this off. The determination of his eyes and that backspin. That works. Oi, 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 there you go. So one of the issue. Yeah, that say, was a good call by the referee, I'd say. Hmm. That would be marked in the books as his 21st knockout win. There we go. I think Borges is still in like a little bit of shock mode, but uh, yeah, it was a tough fight. Yeah, but I, like I said early on, it looked like Ishii was actually just physically stronger and faster. Yeah, yeah. And way better um, control of the ring. This will, this will take us uh, quarterfinals. Uh, is she up into the semi uh, uh, semifinals? We'll see later on in this tournament. There he is. With his win and his knockout bonus there. Ooh. Oh, that was, okay, and the knee too. Okay, I didn't see the knee. Boom, boom, and the knee. Wow. Yeah. Oh, nice backspin there. Too. And another knee. Ouch. Okay, now, now I see all I can say it was a good call. For the referee to stop him, yeah. yeah. I mean, the referee has to step in and yeah. really like protect the fighters. Mm. Team Ishii, the Supreme King. Relentless, well, what does it say? Spirit results? Yeah, relentless rising, rising results. results. Yeah. I like his outfit. Yeah. It's, it's yeah, it's kind of cool. Well, this, uh, we'll see Issei uh, Ishii later on in this tournament as uh, we go forward. Interesting, he walks over the rings on the way up. Right, yeah. 
Yeah, maybe that, that is some kind of subliminal yeah, message. Yeah, that's a statement for sure. Okay. Thank you for watching the K1 World Grand Prix 2022 Japan. This is the K1 Bantamweight World Championship. I'm Russell Goodall. And Nicholas Pettis.